The Samsung T7 and the T9 are two of the best Samsung portable SSDs. And in 2024, there's a few things you should ask yourself if you're trying to decide which of these to get. So first things first, when you look at the box of both of these drives, you will notice that the T9 claims to hit speeds all the way to 2000 megabytes a second, while the T7 only advertises speeds of 1000 megabytes per second. But I found neither of these speeds to be accurate on a Mac. And the main thing is with the T9, Macs are not compatible with the faster speeds the T9 supports because the T9 uses USB 3.2, two by two for the faster speeds. So that's the dual lane standard. And Thunderbolt on Macs does not support that, unfortunately. So if you buy the T9, it's not gonna use the dual lane standard. It's gonna default to the slower 3.2 speeds. So using it with my 2021 MacBook Pro, I was able to hit speeds of around 800 and 950 megabytes a second on both the read and the write side. With the T7, I was getting speeds of about 840 megabytes a second on the read and the write. So those are very close speeds, although the T9 was coming in a little bit faster, but again, nowhere close to what they were advertising on a Mac. But if you have a Windows computer that supports USB 3.2 dual lane, this is gonna be about double the speed of what the T7 is going to be. So the speeds will be very similar for Mac users, but for PC users who have USB 3.2, 2x2 speeds, this is going to be a lot faster. Now, some people have said, well, just get the T9 because it's going to have more future-proof capabilities, but it seems like Macs are never going to support the dual-lane standard. And in fact, Macs do support USB 4 speeds, and I've got some reviews upcoming on some USB 4 drives that's really intriguing, and those drives are getting really fast. Another way you can get faster speeds on Mac is by buying a drive that uses Thunderbolt 3 or 4 instead because Thunderbolt gives you a really fast speed transfer on the Max. So the speeds on these are very similar, but next we need to talk warranty and durability. The T9 comes with a five-year warranty and the T7 has a three-year warranty. Also, you get no IP rating on either of these, so no ingress protection for water, dust, sand resistance, but the T9 has a drop rating up to three meters and the T7 has a drop rating up to two meters. So the rubber casing on the T9 is definitely gonna give it more durability than what the T7 has. Also, both of these drives do support password protection, but at this time, it's a big pain to set that up if you're using a Mac computer. And also then if you wanna use this with an iPhone or an iPad, the password protection is not gonna work on these. So I personally don't use a password protection on either of the drives and the password protection also slows them down. The T7 comes in several different colors. You can also get it in 500 gigabytes, one terabyte, two terabyte, and four terabyte. And the T9 only comes in this gray black color in one, two, and four terabytes. Whenever you compare the prices of the drives, you'll notice the T9 is typically a little bit more expensive per terabyte, so you are going to be spending more with the T9 than with the T7. So which of these two drives should you buy? First and foremost, if your laptop does support the USB 3.2 dual lane speeds, then I would buy the T9 because this is going to be double the speed of what the T7 is. If not, then you are going to be spending extra money for speeds that you can't even hit, but the T9 is still faster and more durable than the T7, even without the dual lane speeds. It is just a little bit heavier, a little bit thicker, and a little bit wider than the T7, and it also has the rubberized coating that holds dust on it a little bit more. But I also noticed when I was doing larger file transfers, the T9 didn't tend to bog down as often as the T7 did. So overall, I find that the T9 just offers better performance, even though it's not gonna be quite as fast as their advertising. This one is more durable and it's faster than the T7. So I recommend most people go ahead and upgrade to the T9 over the T7 so you can get that upgraded performance and upgraded durability. If you have any other questions about either of these drives, leave a comment in the description below. I'm happy to try and answer them. Also like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. If you're interested in buying either of these, I have links to buy in the description below and also be sure to check out my other SSD reviews for some drives that are even faster than these two.